Well, my practice uh, revolves primarily around research. Um, we have a, a number of active protocols, and that you know requires us to take care of those patients that are in our protocols. Um, and, and that's really very rewarding because a lot of those folks uh, tend to be the folks who don't get services to begin with. And we're able to provide them a higher level of service uh, with that. Um, about half of the year on a rotating basis I'm on service uh, and that involves uh, working uh, on the treatment team uh, for primarily chronically uh, mentally ill folks um, and a, a fair number of those now are forensic patients that, that's sort of where our uh, facility has gravitated to. Now I work in industry uh, for over eight years and the reason I went to industry is that I still am interested in research and I think uh, as a as being on the other side as a clinician now I uh, can be on the frontier of new medications, new therapies, clinical tr trial designs um, and now I'm actually educating some of the folks that uh, I used to work with before. Well I think in general we're all unit at the, the pharmacy department is quite robust. We're all unit-based pharmacists. It's an acute care institution of 1,000 beds. Uh, it's a non-profit, private, uh, large hospital, teaching hospital. Um, we're, we're just a 14-bed unit, so I cover more than just psychiatry. I also do work of trauma. However, um, the psychiatry is probably the most interesting part of it. When the people are admitted, usually through emergency, the emergency room, often they first have to be medically clear before they're put on the psychiatry floor. They often come to my ortho trauma floor. So I get to see them when they're medically unstable, then when they're medically clear and they're putting them into the psychiatry unit, I get to see them just for the psychiatry reasons, but medically clear patients only on psychiatry. My MTM setting is an outpatient mental health clinic. I work for a college of pharmacy and my position is shared with a closed door independent pharmacy in the outpatient clinic itself. We have outpatient mental health and we also have outpatient primary care services there as well as the pharmacy and the lab. Uh, the patients are severely mentally ill. We do have some of the sicker of the sick of Summit County in Ohio. We service um, only adults, so 18 and older. My role there is kind of threefold. We participate on active treatment teams, so the substance abuse mental illness treatment team as well as the intensive treatment team, the ITT team. Um, we're responsible for all hospital discharges, um, medication reconciliation with those patients, um, as well as med reconciliation for all of the patients who are discharged from the hospital for medical or psychiatric reasons. They get discharged, they make an appointment to come see me as well as the nurse. Uh, we go through their medication, essentially take back anything they're not supposed to still be taking, help them figure out exactly what they should have, make sure they have enough medicine to get um, to their next appointment. And then for any consults that the providers may send, so anybody who has um, a difficult medication regimen or for patients who are having trouble with any other medication, they get sent our way too. I'm in an outpatient VA clinic and we, I work in the um, psychiatry unit, which is an outpatient unit. So we serve about 4,000 vets, um, prim primarily diagnosed with anxiety disorders, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, depression, substance abuse. Um, I work with four psychiatrists, three nurse practitioners. Uh, RNs, LPNs, social workers, psychologists, uh, and I am the, the sole clinical pharmacist and um, some of my duties include I manage the clozapine clinics, I manage the stimulant clinics, um, I am a referral and a consult service for all of these providers that are, that are sending the most difficult, the most challenging uh, patients to treat, to, to review their drug therapy, to work on uh, improving uh, their quality of life and reducing uh, their symptoms and um, you know it's just it's just a joy it's just um, just a part of um, it's just part of the treatment team and I bring the the, the um, 
pharmaceutical, uh, you know, my pharmaceutical knowledge, my, my, my many years in, in psychopharmacology, um, it's, they're used on a daily basis to help these veterans overcome th their depression, their anxiety, their, their substance abuse. It's a, it's a very uh, challenging and rewarding position and, and um, soon I'll be um, uh, receiving prescriptive authority, which is exciting, which is a unique opportunity for the, within the Veterans Administration for pharmacists. I think it's one of the few situations where where pharmacists have this opportunity to, to actually prescribe and uh, have clinics.